Hello everyone, welcome to Counting with John. My name is John and today topic we will talk about general ledger and subsidiary ledger. Here's the outline for this video. The first topic is that we will talk about what is ledger. The second topic is what is general ledger and subsidiary ledger. The third we will talk about the example case and the fourth and the last point is that we will talk some key points that you should keep in mind regarding ledger. So what is ledger? If after transaction are recorded in journal, they will be posted in ledger. So ledger is a group of all accounts that are recorded in journal and posted in respective accounting periods. So ledger is like a compilation of all journal in the following year or we said in the accounting period in the respective accounting period. There are two types of ledgers. The first is general ledger and the second is subsidiary ledger. So what are those? General ledger is a collection of all transactions from all accounts from one accounting period. All accounts is the keyword here. So if we talk ledger in common or general discussion, we usually discuss about general ledger. And general ledger is a compilation of all transactions from all account in one year let's say which is one accounting period that is general ledger so from cash from all balance sheet account to all of income statement account that all are compiled in general ledger on the other hand subsidiary ledger is a complete collection of all transaction regarding only one account so the keyword here is one account for subsidiary ledger that have common characteristics so for example the common subsidiary ledger is subsidiary ledger for accounts receivable so let's say a company have three subsidiary ledger for account receivable receivable from Mr. A, receivable from Mr. B, and receivable from Mr. C. So these three sub subsidiary ledger are combining or collecting transaction that have common characteristics. So subsidiary ledger for, reci for accounts receivable from Mr. A basically means all account receivable from Mr. A. So all transactions that include account receivable from Mr. A will be posted in here. Same with account receivable from Mr. B and Mr. C. So general ledger is like a compilation of all subsidiary ledger. Subsidiary ledger helps general ledger to become more detailed. And so general ledger contain a summarized account from all account subsidiary ledger and it is called controlling account so let's just jump to the example to get more detail in it so in this case we have revenue transactions we have three revenue here from the 1st of May the 15th of May and the 31st of May we it's the same revenue from service, but the buyer here, the accounts receivable are from three different companies. First is from Mr. A Corporation, second from Mr. B Corporation, and the third is from Mr. C Corporation. And if you notice, the header of this journal have a page, so it's journal page 23. So let's just assume that these transactions are in journal page 23. I will explain it later. And this post draft is for referencing the invoice uh, number that we are using to record 
to this transaction for example so this transaction is from invoice number 10 this transaction from invoice number 11 this transaction is from invoice number 12 and this is the respected uh, amount of the transaction okay so how do we post those transactions so for the general ledger this is the basic shape or template for general ledger we you don't need to be precise like this at this is like only the the shape the, the rough template for it we have the chart of account here so this is the general ledger for account number 1.2 which in this case is account reservable so uh it's the chart of account and the post ref and any referencing other reference are are mainly will be different every in every case so you need to follow the case or the 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 company code that you will be working on so uh, in this case on general ledger we only post one single entry for the 31st of May which is the last day on May so this is the summarize of all transaction that happened in J23 J23 means journal page number 23 so back back again it it depends on the case but for this example it's referencing to journal page number 23 so it's the summarize for all accounts receivable in journal page number 23 and the subsidiary ledger for for the accounts receivable is made by similar to general ledger but we only record the specific account transaction that have a common characteristic in this case we only record account receivable from mr a corporation which is only this transaction and this account receivable amounting 500 dollars so yeah we only record one line over here and we also do the same for Mr. B and Mr. C. So we only record the transaction that are from Mr. B or Mr. C in their respective subsidiary ledger. And one other thing is that the total of all the subsidiary ledger must equal with the controlling account or summarize of all this J23 accounts receivable in general ledger. So I think that's all for general ledger and subsidiary ledger. Here are some key points that you should keep in mind. At the end of accounting period, every transaction will be posted to general ledger. Uh, general ledger is a summarize of all accounts which is the keyword here in one accounting period subsidiary ledger on the other hand is the detail of only one account that has common characteristic so the common ex the common example here is uh, for let's say account transferable is for to to group it in the common characteristic which is a regular customer maybe or for the accounts payable maybe to group it with the same for those who have the same creditor and yeah so yeah something like that and the sum of transaction in subsidiary ledger of one account nature must always equal with controlling amount in general ledger so the controlling account in account receivable general general ledger must always equal with sum of balance in all related account receivable subsidiary ledger 
this is an important thing to keep in mind. Well, that's all for today's topic. Please subscribe if you want some more video like this and ring the bell to get the no latest notification for the newest video. Please also write a comment and hit the like button. Thank you, have a nice day.